everything is so sharp. His technique is flawless. Everything is flawless. His boxing is so dangerous. He's so dangerous everywhere. He's dangerous with submissions. He's dangerous with kicking. He's dangerous. His heart is dangerous. Um, so he has all these weapons that can be deployed in a variety of ways. Uh, and then we have to talk about his rhythm. And I think this is something that a lot of high level fighters don't understand. He goes out there and he kind of has this slow rhythm. And what he's doing is he's giving you a pattern. He's showing you, this is how I'm moving. I swear, I'm just moving nice and slow nice and slow and then he changes the rhythm he explodes out of nowhere and he will try to catch you and he lures you in it's almost like this um you know hypnotizing mechanism that he likes to use and man is it beautiful to watch i think he could be a champ for for quite some time if uh even for me like if i had the opportunity to find i'm looking at it like i got my work cut out for me like there's not an easy fight. Like this is that's just being as honest as it is. Like uh I know I could punch, but it's not how hard you can hit, man. It's like sometimes you gotta be able to like able to take that back. And I think he does a good job with his defense, even the punches that are landing, he doesn't really get hit too cleanly. And uh, I think a lot of people can watch him and take a lot of notes and see how he's able to take these little tiny steps, cut you off, take these feints, and then unload his combinations and put these people away. So you don't know whether the punch is coming with the jab. You don't know if he's coming with a left hook. Is he coming with an overhand right? Or is he coming with a straight right? Uh, is he going to throw a kick off of that? I, I just, he, there's like, there's no wasted movement, but he also gives little tiny feints to make you think he's going to go. And they're not over exaggerated. And then on top of that, what I love is that he keeps his hands so dedicated to his face. If you're the person he's fighting, you start looking for spots to get in there. And it's, you realize that, look, if I focus too much on that spot, I'm gonna get countered with something. Because he is so controlled. He he yeah. stays so disciplined with his defense. Because I think Ilya Taporia just possesses a balance that I, I don't think I've really ever seen in mixed martial arts. Really? It's, it's, a, it's a balance of, a boxing balance to where I'm able to to bounce in and bounce out, reel off combinations, three, four punch combinations to the body, to the head, but I'm still able to drop my level and defend a shot, yeah. get off the hip, wrestle, wrestle, wrestle. And so it, it's, I, I really haven't seen a fighter kind of like that in, in a long, long time. Um, the biggest thing Ilya Pori does very well is that he knows where he's dangerous and he puts himself there and he's willing to put himself in the fire to get to where he needs to, to land a knockout shot. Ilya knows where he needs to be. And that's, he just needs to fight. He fought this dude, Jai Herbert, and he went up to 155 for that fight. So uh, he's a 45 pounder. And he said, Fuck it, I'll take a fight at 55. He gets head kicked in the first round by, Jai Herbert is a nasty stand-up fighter. He's so good. He's real slick. He's real, real good stand-up, like real sharp stand-up. And he caught Toporia with the perfect head kick. And Toporia, you know, like, he's in real trouble. He got dropped. And he scrambled, got a hold of him. Next round, sent him into the dark lands. Blasted him against the... I mean, literally slept him. Face-planted him. And walk-off KO. He's an animal, dude. The way he brings himself into a fight, he, you're kind of always waiting for him to land that shot, to land that, like he, he just looks so effective when he does strike or, yeah. or, or grapple or wrestle. I, I just like the way he works. He His skill level is so high. Yeah. I think it's super underrated, super mm. underrated right now. Maybe it's just because of exposure and because he hasn't, hasn't been in as many headlines as Holloway has. He's a real, he's a real problem because he's intelligent, he's dedicated, He's driven, he's, he's got that kind of confidence that those championship guys have where they know they're the best even before they're the best. I just put myself in those shoes and I could never do that, right? Because I've never been that confident. My God, I wish I had the confidence that somebody like Taporia <laughs> or somebody like Connor has, but that's just never been me. Um, but man, I've got some friends that are big fans of the UFC and gamble a lot. And a lot of my friends in the know, they were, they were on the Taporia hype train. 
Because I know all the effort I, I put in. I know all the sacrifices I do. I know how hard I work and what I'm able to do inside that octagon. I know what I'm able to do. So uh, I've been a huge fan of, of Max Holloway, of Volkanovski, of many, many fighters. And I learned many things from them to create the perfect fighter who I am today. So that's why I have that kind of confidence because I know that I represent a style that no one has in the UFC right now. And he's no joke, man. He, he got power in his hands. He got power probably everywhere. Uh, he got real good wrestling, real good jujitsu. So, you know, this guy keeps saying that, you know, pick a way that I want to lose. I called my way. I told him I wanted to lose by toe hold. So like, we see if he keep his <laughs> end of the day on that. Oh, uh, after this one, after after the fight with Max Holloway, once I'm going to knock him out, maybe the UFC will call me and tell me like that they want me to move up to 155 and I will be very happy with with that decision. If not, I will keep defending my belt, keep doing my, my, my job. If anyone wants to uh, probar, uh, how do you say that, probar, uh, test himself, Mm -hmm. I will be there. And, and 145, 155, 170, I don't care. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a fighter, you know? I'm a fighter and I'm the best fighter in the world. I'm not a average level of fighter, you know? And he's picking fights on multiple fronts. He's fighting Islam on one front. He's fighting against Max Holloway on one front. He's making fun of Alexander Volkanovsky on the same front. This dude has the world at his fingertips, and he's taking note of all of them and saying, I'll do it to all of them. It's crazy. Well, I did train with Ilya, and I felt his power. He's very, very strong, mm. very good. He always come in pressure, like boxing, and he has like a low stand, and he's pressuring you, pressuring you. And, like, he got me two times with the body shot, mm. and he, he did drop me with the body shot. So Paulie, when you look at the boxing, it is beautiful. The head movement, he slips perfectly, counters, slips and rips, comes to the body. The power is different. And I think it's very smart of Taporia not to hold that respect and have that like for Max Holloway because the last guy that Max Holloway fought in Justin Gaethje, who liked Max, he had no bad feelings towards Max. He said he couldn't get himself ready because max is a great guy everybody loves max max holloway put him out in one of the most devastating knockouts we have seen in a really long time bro i was so bored watching watching that fight the only thing excited about that fight was the last 10 seconds to be honest but i didn't see any technique in that 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 fight i didn't see any strategy i didn't see any fucking thing i just saw a bar fight to be honest it was very spectacular for the fans, but for me as a professional, it was a, I don't know, not something very impressive to be honest, because you can impress everyone, but you know the technique behind that knockout and it was zero. Yeah, he criticizes the boxer of Max Holloway. He criticizes his opponents. He criticizes everything about Max Holloway. He's given him no credit whatsoever. And of course, a lot of the time you might think this guy's delusional, this guy's out of his mind, but the mind is the most powerful weapon. He truly believes in himself. There is no doubt, this is not talk. He does the work, he's a lifelong martial artist. He's a tremendous wrestler as well. He actually started off with Greco-Roman wrestling. That was his first martial art. So you put it all together, the man can get it done everywhere no matter who, who is in front of me you know i'm the world champion i had my preferences before that i i, I wanted to fight to, to people who was next to me in the rankings now i don't care like give me a name give me a place and i'm gonna give you a a, a massive piece of mixed martial arts how do you think you would beat Ili, Ili Arturo, top Toro? Ba, 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 ba. I grab his little, I grab him with a scruff of the chest and slap that little nose off him, yeah? Little ding dong of a thing he is, yeah? I'm fucking Spanish. I'm in my bay, bro, yeah? I'm in my bay at the bare knuckle stall and let's see what's what. See what happens here. See what happens here when you cross me, bro, or you come across me.